Namaste, my name is Dr. Rakesh Jalali. I am the medical director of the Apollo Proton Cancer Center here in Chennai. Cancer, although may appear to the lay public like just a cancer, it's just one word, but we all recognize the different, different types of cancers and there are so many forms and shapes of cancer in each site. And they sometimes can behave quite differently with each other. A breast cancer patient the evolution, the natural history of a breast cancer can be quite different than a brain tumor or a head and neck cancer or a blood cancer. So therefore, in the past, uh, there was just a surgical oncologist, there was a medical oncologist, there was a radiation oncologist and who used to treat all the cancers together. There was also uh, the patient and oncology ratio was not you know, so good because there were very few oncologists, there were lots of patients. In the last couple of decades, particularly in the last few years, there is an unequivocal recognition that the cancer care delivery and the outcomes in terms of both cure and survival, but also the quality of cure and survival can be improved significantly if the cancer patient is treated in a particular group of professionals who are experts in that field only. And that gave the concept of site specific cancer care. Therefore, the modern way the cancer treatments are delivered, the principles, the paradigms, the treatment protocols are established according to the group of professionals who are experts in that particular field. For example, I am a radiation oncologist, but for the last 20 to 25 years, I do exclusively brain tumors. So therefore, I'm a neuro-oncologist and I represent a neuro-oncology cancer management team. In different major cancer centers in the world, this has been firmly established. In other parts of the world, it is still being kind of established. However, in our hospital, the Apollo Proton Cancer Center, right from its inception, we were extremely conscious that all the care is delivered according to what we call site-specific cancer management teams. Each cancer management team, so-called CMT, comprises of a group of doctors who include a dedicated cancer surgeon, a radiation oncologist, a medical oncologist as the three important key players who will look after that particular field. For example, we have a breast cancer management team. So the breast cancer management team comprises of a surgeon who is an exclusive expert on breast cancer surgery. She does nothing else except breast. We have a dedicated medical oncologist who is a national, internationally recognized doctor, Dr. Bhavna Sirohi, who looks after only breast cancer. Dr. Sapna Nangya is a very highly accomplished radiation oncologist who is extremely well known for her work in breast cancer. So this is the three group of doctors who look after breast cancer patient exclusively such that the other doctors don't get involved. We have actually gone over to include even the pathologist and the radiologist with a specific nurse looking at that cancer management team, a trial coordinator and support staff. It depends upon the site. For example, a head and neck cancer management team will also involve a speech and swallowing therapist. A neuro-oncology team might also involve a neuropsychologist or an occupational therapist. A bone and soft tissue or musculoskeletal oncology cancer management team may also involve a, that particular person who looks after the prosthesis and so on and so forth. So the modern way the cancer treatment is delivered are done by these management teams or management groups where a particular expertise is available at a national, international level such that they can give cutting edge, evidence-based care. One of the major important component of this cancer management team concept 
is also to deliver evidence-based care according to multidisciplinary team meetings or tumor boards where every single cancer patient's management whether it is a scan, whether it is a diagnosis, whether to go for surgery, whether to go for radiation, when to go, what to do, which to give first, whether the diagnosis is correct or not, after the treatment, interpretation of the scans, what we should be the follow-up. All this is discussed every day on a multidisciplinary tumor board meeting done by this expert for that particular patient, whatever the cancer might be. So that has made a huge difference internationally and we are glad that this concept is taking roots firmly in different parts of the country, not only in major academic centers, for example, Tata Memorial Hospital in Mumbai, but also in various private hospitals. I am very proud to say that my colleagues and all of us have worked very hard to maintain the sanctity of this concept in the Apollo Proton Cancer Center in Chennai, where this is adhered to the T, to 100%, that every cancer patient is registered in a cancer management team. We have eight or nine cancer management teams, the head and neck, the neuro, the breast, the thoracic, GI, pediatric, musculoskeletal, genitourinary, gynecological, etc., etc., where the group of doctors will be exclusive experts in that site and the care is given judiciously, appropriately, after mutual discussion, as per the latest evidence-based care, which also includes the patient's profile, the performance status, uh, whether it is a pediatric, adolescent, geriatric, how, and also the resources available, and the affordability, and the social structure. All these points are considered while formulating a plan for the patient customized to that person and that is the way to go forward.